Hey guys, I'm Patrick. We're out here in our test shed to answer a question we received from a customer about a K2 Pro. They want to know how to adjust the left start position. So here on the top, in the center, we have this arrow. This, this changes the right stop position. But to change the left start position here on the can, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. All right, I've gone and installed this K2 Pro here on our test manifold so that I can show you how to adjust the left start position. Remember, the right start position or the right stop position is adjusted by this center screw on top of the sprinkler. The left start position needs to be adjusted differently. So the first thing we do, we ratchet to the right until it clicks, we ratchet to the left until it clicks. And I'm only, I'm only moving the very top of the sprinkler. My two thumbs, it's all the pressure I need. Click, back to the left, click, and when it stops, the arrow on top of the sprinkler is pointing where it's going to start spraying. If I wanna move where it's going to start spraying from over here to let's say over here, while it's, while it's pushed to the left like this, I can unscrew the cap. I can leave the can in the ground attached to its fitting and I can rotate, I can rotate the whole sprinkler. It's got these little ribs on here that grab the ribs inside the can. I put the left start where I want it to be. I screw it back down. And I want it to be here because I'm in an imaginary installation. This is driveway, this is grass. I want it to begin spraying here and I want it to go over here. So what I've done is I've set the left start over here, the right stop over there. As soon as I energize the system, you'll see the left start is where I want it to be. I can preview what it's going to do by twisting the upper portion of the riser. It will stop over there, it will come back here. I have a dry driveway and I have wet grass, so I'm happy.